Look at the state of the tyre. Come on, there's not long left to go. It's on 95%. Please don't blow. Monaco, Monaco, Monaco. Champions League or Formula One. A true driver's track where one lapse in concentration can put you in the wall. The hardest track on the Formula One calendar. So why not make it even harder and make it rain? But we move. This is the grid for the Grand Prix. And then we will get into the race after. Let's run you through the driver grid order for today's exciting race. Good job yesterday from Valtteri Bottas. The fence starts from pole position. A very happy Carlos Sainz will start second. Looking at the rest of today's grid, we have Hamilton, Perez, Max Verstappen and Ocon, Fernando Alonso, Leclerc, Stroll and Pierre Gasly, Norris, Sonoda, Sebastian Vettel, and Ricardo, Brown, Raikkonen, Antonio Giovinazzi, and Nikita Mazepin, Armstrong, Russell, Latifi, and Mick Schumacher. It's almost time for the lights to go out, so let's head down to the track and get this Grand Prix underway. So it's the Monaco Grand Prix. It's raining. It's going to be even harder. Can we survive as the lights go out? It's Bottas v Sainz at the front of the grid. Sainz gets a good start. Hamilton tries to go to the inside. Can he get the job done? No. Hamilton's now on the outside. Defended from Charles Leclerc. And it looks like he may have lost out. As we head up the hill. We've made a great start there. Moving up from where we started, right at the back, we've got past the, um, the McLaren there, and they're side by side with the Alfa Romeo, and now we're on the back of Sebastian Vettel, and we've sent it down the inside of the other McLaren, of, of Lando Norris, and now down the inside of the hairpin, we've got even more positions, we are up into P11 situation is an interesting one but I think the right call is to stick with what we've got right now Jeff says it's going to ease up and it's going to stop raining but that's not what it said on the weather indicator it said it was going to rain for the entire race but we're on the back of Yuki Tsunoda here and it's turning into your typical Monaco Grand Prix if you, if you are enjoying this video and you want to see more make sure to like and subscribe if you want to as we are now skipping on a fair few laps and it's time to make the switch onto our second set of intermediate tyres there's not going to be that many highlights in this race it's Monaco you know a lot doesn't really happen into the pits we come now though onto a set of um, intermediate tyres again and out of the pits and with Yuki Tsunoda staying out, this was my chance to try and undercut him because in the dry you can try and beat someone on traction and try and get up the inside that ain't happening in the rain because you've got to find your own traction we're on the back though of Giovinazzi I was a bit worried that we may have lost out here um, because we got stuck behind the Alphas and I couldn't get past, I thought that may have cost us but we're on the back of Antonio Giovinazzi now and we are going to send it down the inside we've got to be aggressive here ignore the fact that that was a massive corner cut we'll ignore that and now skipping on to the end of the other lap the Alfa Romeo is very slow we've managed to catch the other one of Kimi Raikkonen but luckily he pits and now heading down the pit straight and we beat out Yuki Tsunoda and Charles Leclerc and we're gonna come out side by side with Charles Leclerc Charles Leclerc backs out of it and that has put us in P12 and when those in front pit we should be in the points and now we are right behind Lance Stroll and we are look in the top right we're into P9 we could be on for our first points as Brown GP in this career mode but yet again I don't know what it is with Monaco 
if you've seen if you've seen my um Williams RTG Monaco video, you'll know that we got stuck behind Sebastian Vettel and now in this Monaco Grand Prix for my team we're stuck behind the other Alfa Romeo and the other Aston the other Aston Martin of Lance Stroll. And you can see here we're all the way on lap 33 because I was just staring at the back of Lance Stroll's car. I couldn't get anywhere near him to have a to have a go at him. But the rain was easing up fairly quickly now. It's still raining, you can still see the spray. Um but it's only it's gonna rain for the entire race, so I don't think it's gonna it's gonna dry up enough. Heading through now though, you can see the gap that um Ocon and Stroller pulled out. We've managed to close it. Rounding the final corner though and into the pits goes Lance Stroll because drivers teams are thinking it's time for the dry tyres you can see though the spray has calmed down a little bit that you can, a couple of laps ago the DRS was enabled but look at that rear tyre there's as into the pits comes a Savan Ocon and we will go on to the final lap of the race we're going to look at the state of the tyres, it's on 91%, this is your final lap. Final can it the survive race. though, there's not long left in this Grand Prix, we're going to let the lap car through of, of Mick Schumacher, and now skipping on, can the tyres survive, can it survive, come on, don't blow now, don't blow now, don't blow now, no, it's, it's gonna go isn't it look at look at the state of the tire come on there's not long left to go it's on 95 percent please don't blow please don't blow round the final corner we were being catched by fernando alonso and charles leclerc but we are gonna come home for our first ever points okay, pick up rubber and bring it home The Mercedes team pulled out a fantastic performance today. They should be proud. So, Anthony, what made the difference out there today? Well, they certainly stood out as a driver with tons of confidence on the track. I think their ability to keep their cool, even during some of the more hectic parts of the race, meant they were able to capitalise on the mistakes of other drivers, giving them the opportunity to make their way to the top spot with ease. Mercedes are on top form once again after an excellent race weekend. It's great to see them up on that podium once again. How the hell have I managed that? We get our first points. Thank God there is only 39 laps in Monaco. If there was 40, we were gone. Those tyres were in the bin. 95% on that rear left tyre. Um, but we get our first points. That's the main thing. We ignore the fact we just very much tempted with death. Anyway, if you have enjoyed this video, here's the standings. Make sure to join me in the next one where we are racing in Baku.